Angela here, and today I'm gonna share with you guys how to turn this box cake mix into something that will taste absolutely homemade slash professional. Because tomorrow is, tomorrow's my birthday. Yeah! yeah! So basically, I'm gonna be making myself a birthday cake with this whole COVID situation that's happening right now. I don't feel comfortable, you know, celebrating my birthday, but it's little things in life. I live in the moment, so I thought to make myself my own birthday cake, and I'm gonna turn this into tasting absolutely professional. There's a way to do it. It doesn't matter what kind of cake mix you can use. You can use whatever you like, and whatever kind you like. Today, I felt like making a strawberry cake, and yeah. These are the items you'll need. You're gonna need, you're gonna need four eggs, one cup of melted butter, your cake mix, and one and one fourth cup of whole milk. Open up your cake mix. going to add our one cup of melted butter. The butter basically replaces the, um, the vegetable oil. Then we're gonna add our milk. This replaces basically the water. Oh, look at that, it's starting to turn pink. Look at that. And then we're gonna start slowly cracking in our eggs. cake pan and I think I'm gonna split it into two cake pans all right we're gonna put these guys in the oven based on the instructions in the box that we're gonna let these put these cool I'm gonna let them cool for a couple hours I'll probably pop them in the fridge so that they're easier to um, handle but can you just see like how pillowy, it's much more pillowy than you would get it if you didn't do the steps that I took. This one actually looks, uh oh, I didn't divide these evenly. This one looks a little bigger. That's okay. Okay, so while the cakes are cooling, I really want to make an emphasis. It needs to be cold. Um, I'm going to go grocery shopping. Yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get back. When I get back, we'll make some buttercream and we'll kind of decorate these babies. All right, I'm back from grocery shopping. Our cakes are cooled. Um, I have it on like this spinning situation so that it's easy to decorate. Um, I made some buttercream. I made some, there we go. I made some buttercream just now. I'll post the recipe down below. Um, you don't have to make your own. I think if you're going to be using, you know, a box cake mix, at least make your own buttercream. I think it really tastes that much homemade and it's stupid easy and it tastes way better than the frosting stuff that you buy, like already pre jarred All right, so this is our first layer. It's going to load up my buttercream move it around town and because we have a strawberry cake we are going to add <laughs> surprise surprise strawberries to it and I think I'm just gonna go like this and fan them out just, oh, just like that. Okay, so now that every piece has some strawberries on it, we're gonna top it with our top piece. Our cake. I don't wanna use it all because some of it I wanna dye pink for our decoration.
the leftover frosting I have and kind of dyed it pink. I think I'm just gonna go like that. random take our tool and just so that's my cake <laughs> okay i look insane with this crown, my knife, let's cut into this cake. Because hey, gotta eat some, she gotta eat some cake on her birthday. So let me take you guys with. birthday to me oh my god look at this cake look how fluffy it is I know we used box cake but trust me replace all the ingredients with what I said to use the butter the milk two cheers to 28 I guarantee you guys try this it does not taste like it's from a box don't forget to subscribe and like to this video if you love making yourself your own birthday cake like me or well just me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.